evening everyone, it's uh, 8.55, Friday evening, 22nd of December. Not long now guys, before the jolly man comes down our chimneys, well, I don't have a chimney so it's a bit difficult for him. <laughs> Zoomed in a little bit. Right. I don't know where to start. I might as well start with this laptop. That's my HP, ignore the salad cream, there's always a bottle of sauce lurking around here somewhere. Or some type of sauce, anyway. I've been using this to edit these. Uh, one has been working really well actually, so when I'm done I'm going to be editing this one. On that one. Um, it's a bit air eh, using the USB keyboard, but it works. I can't wait to get the new keyboard for this but it's been a pain in the ass to source one. It's probably because it's not that old, you know, it's only a few months out of warranty, you'd probably get a, this would have probably came with a year's warranty. And as this is a year and four, five months old according to the BIOS. Uh, I think it was July 2016 this was born. Actually says born in the BIOS. So um I'm guessing the only, or the easiest way to source a replacement keyboard would be straight from HP themselves. Which probably isn't going to be cheap. I've looked on eBay, can't find a used one, you know, this is fairly new so there's not going to be many kicking around being sold as spares or repairs. I did see one, but I couldn't get it because I just haven't got the cash at the minute. Wrong time of year, unfortunately, so using the USB keyboard so I actually like it. I'm using the USB mouse as well, wireless mouse. So yep, like it, loving it. That's going to be the editing rig. That then leaves my desktop free to do my normal stuff. You know I haven't got to sit here twiddling my thumbs while a video saves because uh, this one again it if I try to do like two or three things at once, well, I say that, if I try to render a video and then do something else, it throws a hissy fit. Um, when I say it throws a hissy fit, it lags like hell. Because it just hasn't got enough processor oomph, unfortunately. Even though it's a um, 3 gigahertz dual core, I can still do a little bit more than my old one. But there's not that much difference in it, I don't think. But that one works really well, so... I'd rather have a laptop sitting over there than another desktop, because at least if I need to use that bench for something, I can just fold the laptop up and move it. So, I'm happy with that. I'm going over to Mum's this year on Christmas Day, not Christmas Eve. I decided I'll have a change. She gave me the option this year. No. Every year since I've been living on my own, not just since I've lived in this flat, but the flat I had before this and whatnot, I would go to Mum's on Christmas Eve and sleep over. That was the tradition. But this year I got the choice. <laughs> she actually asked, you know, do you want to come over Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? Um, I've chosen Christmas morning, reason being I know I'll sleep that night sleeping here. I can't fall asleep that well when I'm at Mum's. Don't know why, I don't know if it's because it's Christmas night or what it is, or if I'm in sleeping in unfamiliar territory, even though I'm used to Mum's, you know. Or just not in a comfy bed or what it is, but either way, I just. I could never sleep, I might manage a couple of hours, and I'm grumpy all day because I've had very little sleep, so I'm going to stay here Christmas Eve and uh, go over Christmas Day. But uh, I would like her to come and get me as early as possible. But anyway, I've done my Christmas shopping, wanted to do more, but as usual, I left it to my last payday to get, you know, to start doing the Christmas shopping, so I've only managed to get one present each. Do kind of feel bad for that. 
Um, but anywho, I'll make more of an effort next year. I tell myself every year, we'll start in September, we'll start October time, you know. I never do. I always keep putting it off. Anyway, I'm not going to do it next year. <laughs> Refuse to do it next year. I'm going to start earlier. Anyway, so that's done. I've got a new light fitting somewhere, which it seems to have gone walkabout. I'm actually waiting for Thomas Metham to get back. And I can call him on Skype and we can sit and have a chat. I do enjoy little chats on uh, Skype. That's even... I actually enjoy it as well when uh, our buddy Mark Hyder and his girlfriend gets online and that was Thomas actually saying, I'm big. So, uh, I'll just tell him I'll call in a bit. Put the camera on. Um, I can't take a shower at the minute because mine don't work. <laughs> but I've got a Sparky booked for the 11th of January between 8 and 12 in the morning. It's weird. It's an electrician's job. That one, not a plumber's job. Well, I suppose a plumber could do it. But I think I'll send an electrician out to do that one. Um, and I've got a heating engineer coming out on the 29th of December to hopefully fix that leaky um, shut-off valve, inline shut-off valve, so I can use the radiator in the bathroom. It's getting a bit chilly in there when I'm taking a bath. And I can't open up the valve because it pisses water everywhere. <laughs> so that's a bit out of the question. Right. Oh, I found that light fitting. So, the strangest item I have received in the mail is this traffic cone. A fellow collector of lamps and possibly cones, I'm not actually sure. Can't remember, I really should write down his eBay name. Um, or his YouTube name, actually, I actually think he's on YouTube. Because I... I don't want to use their real names without their consent, but uh, anyway, he sent me this. It's free, but I think as soon as I've got some change, I'll PayPal him the postage across. Because I'm feeling a little bit bad because he keeps sending me all these free stuff. And I can't, or got nothing, you know, to send back in return. Anyway, nice little blue one. Um, I've been told from a reliable source, I don't know how many videos he watches, but uh, he, his YouTube name was King Cone, but I think he's changed it now. But he's a cone collector as well, and his knowledge is excellent on cones, and he said these would have been used on the railway. Um, I don't know, I've not really been to a railway station enough. But apparently they're not legal to use on the actual highway, on the road, because they're the wrong colour. But for private use, they can be used. Um, I've seen the tall blue ones. That's a 500mm cone. I've seen the taller 750mm cones used on the road. Got a yellow sleeve with the danger overhead cables on them for um, usually where they're doing roadworks under overhead cables, like resurfacing roads where the um, tipper body is tipped up to tip the... whatever it is they use on the roads around here, it's like a gravel sort of stuff. They lay the hot liquid tarmac down first, and then a lorry goes along and... with the tipper up and tips this sort of stony stuff on top, and then a roller comes along and rolls it all flat. And then you have the signs put up saying loose chippings. 20 mile an hour because they do fly pretty well. <laughs> um, it's a cheap surface, it does the job, you know, it redresses the roads. But the only thing is, it doesn't get rid of potholes, it just sort of flows with the potholes. That's the only disadvantage with that. 
Oh yeah, I don't want to go into the bedroom yet. Pick this up. That was my Christmas shop. Pick this up. It is a light fitting, not a crystal ball. Um, it's just got a BC lamp holder in there, bayonet cap. Two contacts, doesn't matter which way around your wires go, it's not even labelled. Because it doesn't matter, you just put your live on one neutral on the other, don't matter which way around. Two screw holes and that is it. But, uh, I want to put an LED bulb in that. That is glass, so I've got to be careful. But I don't know whether to put it in the kitchen or in the bathroom. So I want something different. I want to upgrade those to LED lamps. In fact, if I can find another one of those, then I'll put one in the bathroom, one in the kitchen. No. Pardon me. Got a proper laptop bag, which is good. I've got a proper thing to carry my laptop in instead of a carrier bag. I was going to change the light in this hallway here. Well, it looks like I've got to take the shade off because it's full of muck. No, you're not going to see it. Um, I just, I'm just bored of that light fitting more than anything. And like I said, the one in the bathroom, I do use that one more than the kitchen, so I want to put an LED in there as well. Because at the moment it's got like a 30, 35 watt fluorescent, what they call a D tube in there, or double D tube, I should say. <sighs> and a bit of a clean up in here as well. I haven't vacuumed, and there's still a few bits on the floor, but it's not as cluttered at least. Apart from this corner. PC Central. <laughs> Um, speaking of PCs, I uh, had my brother ones, my brother's one rather, not brother ones, my brother's one here Wednesday, mum brought it up with her when she came in to go to work, because um, it was blue screening, and after a bit of poking around, because it was blue screening quite frequently, and the error was different each time as well, which was quite confusing. It wasn't the same error. Um, I tried a few of the obvious, like, reset the BIOS by dropping the battery out and whatnot. Didn't work. So I got chatting to my brother that same evening, Wednesday evening. And we both sort of suspected it could be a RAM stick. So what I did, after... He um, suggested this, because he actually thought it could be the hard drive at first, but I couldn't hear any telltale signs that that hard drive was failing in any way, shape or form, so I didn't suspect the hard drive. I'm pretty certain it wasn't that. Um, so, I took one 4GB stick out and left this one in. Still kept blue screening, still kept playing up, booted up quite slow as well took this one out, this one was mine originally, We, me and my brother traded, because he needed a 1333 MHz to match the 4 gigabyte one that's currently in his PC, so he could have 8 gigabytes, and I needed one to match my 8 gigabyte one, so I could have 12 gigabytes, so we swapped. Anyway, I put his original stick back in his machine, it stopped it, I'm not kidding. I did this Thursday, actually, yesterday, and uh, I left the PC running from 1 o'clock in the afternoon till about 5, 5.30 in the afternoon. It's got the settings set so it would, you know, shut down and go into sleep mode after, I think, about 15, 20 minutes or so. And when I pressed the power button, it woke up fine. No blue screen, unlike before. Restarted it a couple of times throughout the afternoon. No blue screen, unlike before. Uh, I actually turned it off fully and turned it back on a couple of times as well, leaving it for a little while at one point. No blue screens. So, there's the problem. <laughs> this is the problem. So I'm just going to use that as a test stick. If I ever get any DDR3 motherboards come my way that don't come with any RAM. I've got a stick there that I can just chuck in it just to see if it turns on and does anything. Can't use it on a system because it's just going to blue screen. 
And uh, that one actually came out of the one I'm using in the lounge that had a blue screening issue. If you remember when I first got it, I mentioned that. And I thought I'd fixed it just by dropping out the um, BIOS battery and resetting it. But I also changed the RAM. Well, actually, resetting the BIOS did help because I was using the original RAM at that point. Well, it seems like I totally eradicated it by uh, swapping the memory. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. Going back to light fittings. That one over there that I just showed you. Um, would be suitable for the bathroom because it's an enclosed light fitting. Just tripped over the hoover. Now. I knew bathroom regulations had changed, electrical regulations, where you had to have an enclosed light fitting in a bathroom. Like this one, right? Something like that. Doesn't have to look exactly like that, it's just got to be an enclosed fitting. Um, but when Mum's bungalow was built, it didn't have an enclosed light fitting like that and this is this confused me because I didn't know this at first it had if I can find it, it can't be that far away so I've actually got to take it to mum's uh, it had or has I should say just an ordinary what they call a baton fitting just an ordinary light bulb fitting you know just push twist on the ceiling I thought, but and I, every time I went into Mum's bathroom, I was like, I'm sure that's meant to be an enclosed fitting, but I recently subscribed to an electrician who's down in London on YouTube. I su subscribed to him on YouTube, I mean. And um, he actually went through, I saw a video where he was doing bathroom lights, and he actually said it's to do with the distance the light fitting is from the bathtub. Um height wise and width wise basically you know if it's a certain measurement or below it's got to be an enclosed fitting if it's further away you can use the batten fitting what the fuck have I done with it <laughs> I had it earlier it's a big white thing I can't miss it I've got to take it to mum's because there's one of those up in the attic or was one of those ah here it is there it is. That's all it is. No. Yeah. Was one of these up in Mum's attic, but my stepdad broke it when they were moving in. <laughs> He's putting stuff up in the attic and caught it, because this was actually put in a dumbass place, if you ask me. So, I'm going to put another one up. Make life easier than trying to use a flashlight up there. <sighs> it did make... Oh, blah, blah, blah. I'll start again. Preferably without getting my tongue in a twist. Watching his videos has kind of made me um, think back to when I was in college studying electrical installations to be an electrician. And uh, I dropped out. I bottled the course and dropped out. And that's my, probably my biggest mistake in life and my biggest regret. But uh, like Mum said, I could go back to college, but... I could get a reduction on course fees for being on ESA, but I've still got to find the rest to pay the course fees, and I'm not sure if someone my age can now get any extra help. So, I could be wrong, there might be extra help there, but to be honest, I could go back and redo it. If I had the opportunity, I would go back and retake it. Even if I never became an actual electrician, you know, I mean, went out and got a job as one. It would just be nice to say I've got that qualification, you know. Because I know what I'm doing. I could... A flat like this would be easy to wire up. I know how to do the ring final circuits. I know how to do the lighting circuits. You know. I don't think many of the regulations have changed over the years, apart from some in the bathroom. And a couple of other things that I've been learning watching this electrician. 
So, but you'd get taught all that at college anyway. I just got to turn that transformer off. And uh, I've even seen him do things that I've done that I didn't like doing because I didn't think that was professional or even allowed. But, you know, when I've added extra outlets, I've got a bit of like white flex or something to match the colour of the, the uh, skirt board that I've clipped it to. And then, you know, put another outlet in. But I've recently watched a video where he did exactly the same thing. And I was like, oh, maybe you can do that. And I don't think it's against, the, you know, regulations as such. Um, but I just think cables are actually hidden in the walls because it looks tidier. You can use the old trunking if you really want to. It's probably cheaper. Now they have here, but that's because that's a stud wall anyway. So it's just easier. Same there. That's actually the new light switch because um, the outside light I've got out there was not there when I first moved in. That was put in after I moved in. Which I'm actually tempted to change just for the sheer hell of it. Just because I want to. don't like having standard lights. Anywho. And that fuse box is a replacement as well. They did all that when they did my bathroom. About six months after I moved in. I clean my walls down. I've got marks everywhere again. Hmm. Just trying to think. I don't think I've forgotten anything. I am, however, now skint until I next get paid. Shut up. <laughs> my Hussar is not working again. My Hussar notification. That keeps stopping for some reason. Anyway, I'm going to say Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and uh, I will talk to you all again very soon. Bye.